Hello. This is actually my second recording because my recording software, which I will not name any names, hook it up my first playthrough. But before I said I was in for a spoopy game, hence the black lipstick, I borrowed this from Malice. It's okay, she wasn't there. And I'm keeping it. Anyway, this is called the test. It's not a personality test. It's not a test of intelligence. It's a test. You answer questions and I'm more than happy to do this again if I'm entirely honest because I've answered some incorrectly. Well, it turns out I have the attention span of a chihuahua so <laughs> we're gonna get right in and hopefully this other recording software that I'm using will, well, it'll go well. Knock on wood. There's no wood in here. <laughs> that was not a euphemism. Alright, so begin. Hello, person with bubonic plague mask. Now, in order to begin this is the most important part of the entire experience. Alright. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. I'm pretty sure that's quite similar if you're an... You know, answer them how you'd like to answer them, because if you're answering them... You know what, I'm not gonna... I've noticed that before, I'm not gonna bring it up again. <laughs> We all want to be good people. We really want to admit our faults, grievances or mistakes. Well, I just did, so... But then again, it will never be found out. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? That'd be pretty hard to do, I'd imagine. And for actually, this is spooky. They actually did mention about taking this test again. But I did answer honestly, so... The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-annihilizing yourself. Did I say annihilating or alienating? <laughs> Self-analyzing your own psych psyche to evaluate the truth in your mind and life so that you can predict your future. Okay. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know what you know know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic, this isn't a personality test, this is simply nature. <laughs> this is you. This is your mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the main brain at working, unlocking hidden truths within itself. I'm doing this for the second time, so I know what to expect. But I will answer honestly. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. And if you've seen any of my quiz videos, but specifically the Maya Briggs personality test, I do say it depends a lot. But unfortunately, this is not the Myers Briggs test, so <laughs> I'll put myself through this again. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the circumstances 
the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realise it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your questions the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water. I just finished my tea. Sit back, relax, pick one, I can't do both, and enjoy the experience we are about to begin with a series of questions and provide that you're a willing participant. We will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. I mean, my last recording was an hour long, so this should be a breeze. Would you be alright with living alone forever? Well, the circumstance I came up with in my head was have the world's worst roommate or never find the perfect roommate. So I'd rather be alone in my own company, but I didn't say I couldn't have a pet. So technically I wouldn't be alone. I'm assuming they mean humans. So yes, I would be. And if anyone knows me that well, my roommates, well, pets, have long ears and a cotton tail. <laughs> yes. Do you like the colour blue more than the colour black? Well, <laughs> depends on the shade of blue. What I'm thinking of, the person I find, I'll just say interesting, has nice blue eyes. And I think we can all agree blue eyes are much nicer than black eyes. <laughs> yes. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes, I would. And I've actually have done that once. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yep. Are you afraid of spiders? Yep. Anything more than with six legs? <laughs> I'm a mile and a half away <laughs> in the other direction of a thing with more than six legs. Ugh. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? No. What if I got ash in my hair? Have you ever tried getting ash off you? It's a nightmare. Okay, not from molten lava. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be fat? No, and that's rude. Okay, maybe not, but come on. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? <laughs> yes. Not to brag. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? I always had this idea. If I was frozen for one year, I would look one year younger than I already do. And that would confuse a lot of people if they looked at my birth certificate. So yes. This is all very interesting. Did you realise that the last letter of the previous five questions when you put together spell the name Satan? No, I didn't. I didn't the second time, I didn't the first time. Does that make you uncomfortable? Nope. The devil has many other names. How do I know it's not a typo? From Saturn the material and planet to the devil. No. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Yes, I am. And here's a little story I told my first recording. Whenever me and Mama Gamer were out getting our nails done, when I was done first, I would go to the game shop and buy a game from Big Fish Games, which are mainly hidden object games and puzzles. And I always look for them. I've actually got a pile down there next to my storage unit and I might actually play them on the channel one day. I'm good at finding. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Nope, not even the second time. Have you been entirely honest with your answers this far? Twice already. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonesty? Nope. But to be fair, you didn't mention anything about consequences, so no. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? That's not on me, that's on you. You should have said so. Or maybe you did. 
Are you wondering how these questions begin to take a strange turn? No. You're a game I bought off Steam for £1.69. Would you consider yourself captivated? Where? No. Again, not even the first time. No. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Yes. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? <laughs> well, if you were to ask my old teachers, they would just laugh. But my drama teacher, bless us all, she, she knew I was intelligent. And intelligence just doesn't mean, you know, smart, doing well in school, academic intelligence. There's also common sense and emotional intelligence. And I don't consider, I'm, why, why did I say consider? I'm not an academic, <laughs> far from it. But I do consider myself quite intelligent and very much with common sense and emotional intelligence. So yes. Have you been looking for hidden messages in this, these questions? Nope. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? Nope. Have you begun to wonder how long the session will take? This session? Have I been seeing a session this entire time? Ugh. Have you begun to wonder... Oh, session's there. <laughs> That's why. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? Nope. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Right. I can be impatient because sometimes when I plan something, like, say it's for a present for someone, I'm putting together a nice little birthday package for them and I want all the things to come like that. I know we have Amazon Prime, but sometimes I hate waiting. However though, I've worked with children young children as well, all, with all shapes, all shapes, all ages and specific conditions. And anyone who's worked with kids knows you need a lot of patience. <laughs> so yes, I do consider myself patient purchased, per tra -da -da <laughs> tongue twister, a patient person in that respect. So, yes. Do humans annoy you? A-holes annoy me. Humans don't. Do you prefer animals to people any day of the week? Especially if they have long ears and a cotton tail. Do you believe in magic? Yeah. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? I took too long to explain what I believe in in my first recording, but to sum it up, I believe in good and bad energy. So let's say, for argument's sake, Jesus was good energy, the devil is bad energy. So yes, I do. Do you fear death? No. Dying of old age or dying of the inevitable, I won't. It would just be easier to accept my fate. Being murdered on the other hand, or a horrible disease, that's, or an infection, I would. But dying of old age, look, it's part of life. It's the very, <laughs> the very last part of life, so no. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? Yeah, <laughs> I've got people to vouch for me for that. Did you answer the last question with 100% honesty? Yep, I've got people to vouch for me for that. Are you alone? I am right now. My throat's dry. <coughs> Why I drink all my tea? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. My camera would show anyone behind me. If I told you with the utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? Nope. 
My webcam's covered too. Have you wondered who I am? Nope. All I know is that you're a game I bought off Steam for £1.69. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? Nope. I'm still warm for my tea. Do you feel like you're being watched? Nope. I'm so chill. Have you considered quitting this session early? Nope. Do you drink water every day? Yes. Tea is made from water. Well, <laughs> well, you need water to make tea, so yes. Do you, do you eat at least once per day? Every day? Yes. Do you realise that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? Nope. I don't really care either. <laughs> do you realise that you just missed another one? Nope. Are you wondering what they were? Nope. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? Nope. Is your favourite number seven? You're so close because my favourite number is 17. So, nope. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? A little bit of, I don't know whether to call it a paradox or an oxymoron. Life is not short, it's wasted. Or life is only short if you waste it. So, no, I don't agree. Because everyone's circumstances is very, very different. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Well, the only thing they have in common, far to my knowledge, things in common, I should say, is they're both grown on trees, they have seeds, and they're both a fruit. But one's packed with vitamin C, and the other's packed with something. One can be, you can eat the skin of one, the other's peeled, one's already in segments, the other one you have to cut into segments. But you can see, all people are humans, but can you compare one to each other? And also oranges are very acidic. Or is it apples? Well technically they're both acidic. And <laughs> you kind of need... Oh, there's another one. They can be both turned into juice. <laughs> And also, <clears throat> it was proven that you need vitamin C to prevent scurvy. And those poor people back in the day who had scurvy, ooh, I don't envy them. So, yes. <laughs> Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? I keep getting a different answer every time I look that up, the morning star. So, I'll say no. Everyone deserves a second chance, do you agree? It took me a while to answer this one. Depends on what they did. A second chance to retake a test or to prove they're not who they really are. It just could be a bad day for them. So for argument's sake, yes. You can do anything you put your mind to, do you agree? Yes! Obedience is more important than freedom. Okay, I disagreed in my first recording. Because there's being responsible and following rules and then there's just upright control over someone's life. And I mentioned, you probably know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to mention the name out of respect for them. These people kept members of their own family basically prisoner. And if they got out of line, they were punished severely. And when one member of the family escaped and 
basically reported them, it was like the culprits were like, they disobeyed us because, well, need I say more? People need the freedom for their own choices. You can't, especially parents, they can't say, you're going to be this when you grow up, you're going to be that when you're that age, and so forth. You must do this. Thankfully, my parents never did that. Hence, this is why I'm doing it today. So... Being responsible, I would say, is more important. But people do need freedom. Unfortunately, in this world, not many people have that. So I'm going to say no. People need freedom. And also, I like the saying, words don't teach, experience does. So I'm going to continue. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Yeah. When I was in Spain one time, we were on a glass bottom boat. It was fantastic. Did you realise that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? No, I didn't. <laughs> I actually forgot about that question. No. Do you wish to be loved? I am loved. But <laughs> I'll take some more. If that's meaning, do you want someone else to love you? Yeah, that'd be nice. Do you have any addictions? Replace the word addictions with obsessions, you'd be more <laughs> you'd be more accurate. A fun trait on my mum's side of the family, specifically the women, we have obsessive personalities. My last obsession, which is pretty much still ongoing, was the law of little nightmares. And we just like we find a bit of info and we stretch it out as far as we can, linking it to every little detail we can, well, we can find. I probably shouldn't mention what my mum's last obsession, well, one of my mum's obsession was. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see any addictions like gambling, alcohol, drugs. So, no. Do you dislike the colour pink? Nope. <laughs> About 99% of my videos, I'm wearing a pink shirt. <laughs> and pink's my favourite colour. Does the colour grey seem depressing? No. Not at all. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes. Do you like to dance? Yes, and I was actually a dancer in my drama class. I've even danced on stage. Would you consider yourself normal? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Do you love your parents? Yes. Have you ever been lied to? Oh, the Pope Catholic. Do you get angry often? Yeah. But anger is better than sadness. Do you hold grudges? This was tough to answer. If anyone with anyone toxic to be specific, if they've done anything horrendous to me, I cut them off completely. And God forbid if they ever should step foot in my house. That's not a threat I should mention. <laughs> so yes. I don't forgive, but I do forget. I move on. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yes, for petty things like taking the last slice of pizza or saying something stupid, so. <laughs> Have you ever lied? Yes. I would be lying if I said no. <laughs> and also, I've worked with kids. You have to... Well... <laughs> During Christmas time, you do. <laughs> mm. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Yes, I like trees too, but I also like roses, chrysanthemums, dahlias, orange lilies. That's about it. Yes. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? 
Nope. The animal kingdom's hard. Do you believe you have psychic powers? I'm empathetic. I have good intuition. And I have what I call good vibes. Like, or good instincts to be specific. Because sometimes... I like when someone's near me, I sometimes feel the energy is bad and I turn out to be right. So yes. Have you ever seen a ghost? Not in real life. <laughs> no. Do you dream often? Oh yeah. And weirdly enough, my last dream, and I kid you not, I was being held hostage by a leprechaun. I'm saying that with a straight face because I'm serious. <laughs> yes. Do you have nightmares often? Not often. Though recently I did experience sleep paralysis, which was really terrifying. But no. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? No. And I'm going to quickly say, I think... A lot of people would benefit from creative work such as drama because when I was 12 <laughs> I was I was very quiet. I wouldn't dare do anything. I was pretty much afraid to be around everyone or speak any to anyone. And right now, 15 years later, <laughs> look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing now. And I think Granted, it's not for everyone, but I think drama would help a lot. It helps your self-confidence, your coordination skills, your social skills, spatial awareness, everything. And not to mention your social life. It's helped me immensely. Do I suffer from anxiety attacks? No. Do you suffer from depression? I had it twice when I was younger, but not anymore. And I'm not going down that road again. Do you exercise often and stay active? No. I haven't been in swimming for a long time. Well, define a long time. You can probably guess due to what. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I love taking little Digby out for a long walk. And we do have a Nintendo Wii downstairs. I haven't been on that for a while. So, no. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Oh, this was hard to answer. Well, hard to talk about. For those who don't know, I lost my brother in 2018 and there are a lot of triggers that hit me hard. Like his favourite Disney character was Buzz Lightyear and when the announcement for Lightyear, the movie, came out, all I could think of was my brother would have loved it and even when I'm in the shops I see things like I would have had that for him I would have that for him I could have got that for him and it's not easy so yes have you ever felt betrayed yep by my toxic friends who are no longer in my life do you ever feel lost in life no because I know my purpose I know I'm a creative person, thanks to the internet and many resources, I can express who I am. So no. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Yeah. I would. I always liked the idea of becoming a director, but I've only liked the idea. I've never had experience apart from my own small work. Working with other people, I've yet to do. So, and actually, in my drama class, I did actually write and direct a small play, which is called a sketch. And it went well. So, yes. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Oh, the temptation. But I said, I know there's a lot of bad people in the world, but there's also a lot more good people in the world. So to sacrifice them in order to get rid of the bad, no, it's just not right. So, no. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? I said I want to 
dream of being an inspiration. Whether someone sees me as their hero is up to them, not me. So, no. Have you ever been bullied? <laughs> Only my entire school life. Yes. Have you ever bullied someone else? I stood up for myself and then they complained I was bullying them, but no. Have you ever considered yourself to be a dreamer? Yep. <laughs> Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Well, yes, because I'm only human. If I'm in a bad mood or if I've been aggressive unintentionally, then yes, I would hurt someone's feelings. Not on purpose. So I think I have. Do you find space fascinating? This was a hard one to answer because I like stars and constellations and how people way back, way, way back, who didn't even have maps back then, exploring new worlds, use the stars in order to get their way home. I mean, come on, that is, <laughs> it's stupendous. And I came to the conclusion that stars are part of space, so yes. Do you, would you consider yourself to be an artist? Yep. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? Yes, and I have evidence of that. Not to brag. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Everyone has flaws. Even being flawless is a flaw. <laughs> Do you believe in perfection? Nope. Because perfection is opinionated. Have you ever stolen from someone? Okay, I've never robbed a bank. I've never emptied someone's bank account. <laughs> Excuse me, <coughs> my throat's dry. <laughs> I think it does count when you're in school. I might have nicked someone's pencil. <laughs> so yes, maybe by accident, but moving on. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? I said only for self-defense. I think murder is absolutely awful. So did that go without saying? And well, that's it. Self-defense, that's my only reason. Literal life and death. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? I would. Because if they found me dead the next day, that'd be awful. Have you ever told your darker secrets to someone? I don't have any dark secrets, so no. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? I said no because you're a game character. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Of my game character? No. I've... If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? Nope. Camera. I can see behind me quite clearly. If I told you that you've been, I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? Nope. Camera. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yes. Like I said, I'm quite sensitive to everyone's energy. Especially people with hostile energy. Whew. Had plenty of that. Whew. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? I've never really had a chance to be romantic. So, no. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I did not start it, but yes. Oops. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? I feel like I'm being spied on with this one, but yes. Oh, it's awful. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Sometimes, but not usually. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Okay, this one got me. I nearly died of embarrassment. <laughs> because I was stupid. The opposite sex. I'm female. Am I attracted to males? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? Given the choice, no. 
Are you attracted to muscular bodies? A little bit. So, well, yes and no. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Well, I've danced when people were looking. I suppose so. When I've been rehearsing my dance steps, so yes. Do you trust your best friend entirely? I do. Coriander, best friend, I trust you. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? <laughs> yep. Sometimes I wish I didn't. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? I'm thinking again. Hmm. 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 No. My morality is too high. <clears throat> Did you ever dream about running from a killer? Oh, yeah. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Well, not a cliff, but falling, yes. Excuse me again. <coughs> Do you ever dream about being naked in public? Hasn't everyone? Yes. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Well, one of my favourite scary authors is Susan Hill, the same author who wrote Omen Black, which was fantastic. Slip and terrifying, but fantastic. So yes. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes, I love a good laugh. <laughs> Do you like being the centre of attention? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. Do you feel like something is always watching you? Nope. Like what? Why you ask? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Nope. Never been interested. Have you ever had an out of body experience? Not to my knowledge. No. Have you punched a nun? Okay, what is with this? No. I've never even met a nun in my life. Do you like dogs better than cats? Yeah. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? I'm quite certain, yes, including Disney movies. I've watched more movies. No, I've wat watched books. Can't get my words out. <laughs> I've read more books than I've watched movies. I'm pretty sure, certain, certain in my entire life. So I do prefer to read. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've never ever punched a nun? Not even the sec <laughs> second time. This is the second time. The first time. No. Do you get starstruck easily? Nope. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? No. I hardly go to any, so I, I don't hate them enough to know. I do like an event to look forward to, so... <laughs> Is your favourite part of your birthday receiving presents? I like the whole part of my birthday. Like everything about my birthday. Not just being the centre of attention, but spending time, having something to look forward to. The cards, the post, the few birthday messages I get. And also the thoughtfulness of getting a present from someone who thought of me. Who put the effort into getting me something. I like the thoughtfulness, so yes. <laughs> Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like really, just BAM! Right in the face, nun punch? No. Did you laugh? No, you're not funny. Did you say what the fuck in your head or even aloud? Nope. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? No, that's assault. Is, if there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? I already know my place in hell. It's called the throne. <laughs> How many people have done that? Smoke remark. 
No. I'm not going to hell. I'm a good person. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to blur that out because it's entirely inappropriate. But no. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? No. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? Well, after that last question, yes. Is your mouth dry? Well, it wasn't before, so I'm probably going to get a different answer this time. I've got no tea left. Yes. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? It is now. Now that you mentioned it. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? When you think about it, there's plenty of places on Earth that's undiscovered. So who knows? Yes. Are you poor? It's worth money, imagine. <laughs> okay. I'm an adult. I get adult money. And I use that adult money to get stupid things. So, yes. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Nope. Not in a million years. Do you speak more than one language fluently? Nope. <laughs> Wish I could, though. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? I have. I've been to Spain several times. France. Greece when I was nine months old. So, still counts though. Scotland and America. Yes. Do you enjoy coffee? I like tea better, but yes. Do you believe in demons? Well, I mentioned I believe in good energy and bad energy. Demons are bad energy, so yes. Do you believe in angels? Yes. Are you afraid of sharks? Okay, I live in the northeast of England. Most of my family come from a coastal town. I'm pretty sure there's no sharks in the English Channel or in the North Sea. So, no. Do you prefer baths over showers? No, I prefer showers. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? Nope. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? Hey, what shadow? I'm f my own shadow? No. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? Um, doesn't everyone have that? Yes. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? I'm pretty certain in my house there's a black hole somewhere. <laughs> yes. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're not alone? When you're not alone. When you're alone. No. Ha. Huh? Oh. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes, but they're explanatory. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? No, not to my knowledge. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No, that's awful. Do you have any pets? <laughs> not anymore. Is your favourite colour green? No, it's pink. The colour green is very nice. In certain times of times of shade types of shade but no it's not are you attracted to a family member no if you won the lottery would you share the money with anyone yes but only to a few people if you could be the dictator of your own country would you accept the rule oh the temptation but no Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like time out for grown-ups. Do you like fishing? No. Do you like hunting? No. It's awful. Do you like camping? Never been camping. Do you like guns? Nope. 
Are you getting tired of answering questions? This is the second time already, so no. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Oh god, I hope my parents aren't watching this. <laughs> no. Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? Yes. That's where I feel it, when I look into their eyes. It's all where it's at. Yes. Do you always keep your promises? Nope. And it's not a choice either, in some cases. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Uh, no. Do you take me for a fool? Are you an only child? I didn't used to be, but I am now. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? No. I don't get drunk. I either go tipsy or absolutely sick to my stomach. There's no in between. There's no drunk. There's no whatever the drunk feeling is. It's awful. No. Do you like tattoos? No. I wouldn't get one myself, but I don't. As long as I taste well, I don't mind if anyone has them. So, no. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Only if I'm high on dopamine, but no. Do you believe you have a soul? Yes. Did you cry this week? Oh yeah. I'm not going to say what for because I, it'll make me think about it and I don't want to think about it right now and I'm starting to get thinking about it now so I'm going to stop. Yes. Are you upset with someone right now? Not yet. <laughs> no. Is there someone you're not completely honest with daily? No. Do you understand how this works yet? I think I did when I did it the first time, but I'm going to say no anyway. If you answer the questions twice, your truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them, the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables variables <laughs> you'd never guess do you understand yes are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered nope i know your type if i were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you specifically you you learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of his intention. Would you believe that? I can't remember what I answered. But I wouldn't believe it was specifically for me, so no. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Yeah, I have been abandoned. Not by family! By the toxic friends I mentioned previously. So yes, I know what it's like. I don't like it. It's just awful. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? No. I know self-defense. And speaking of which, aim for the eyes. If anyone's, if you actually get attacked, and also elbow, right in the face, if they're grabbing you from behind, it will hurt like a female dog. <laughs> anyway, not always on grand. I know self-defense, but no, not always. Do you feel like I know you yet? No, because you haven't even asked my for my name. Do you, have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? Nope. I haven't even got my headphones on, so nope. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skip questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. Here we go. I'm calculating your results. I'm analysing you very carefully. I'm judging you, you and the rest of the world. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Well, aren't you just a bucket of sunshine? Well, this is different. 
It's incredible to me just how misunderstood you are. In fact, you're so misunderstood that you often don't even understand yourself. A little bit like last time. Sometimes you just do things. You just do stuff. Why? Because you do. You don't need a reason, you just act. This is not a bad thing. As a matter of fact, this is such an amazing quirk that is so perfect to anyone, to someone who might be madly in love with you. Well, that's good news. Your spontaneity is a gift that can bring a smile to a miserable face and a crying heart. Do not lose this gift. I did have a friend who said, I swear you can make anybody's day. And I think I see what they mean. <laughs> With all that being said, you are not where you want to be in life. You are not as happy as you lead on sometimes. And only those close to you know how you really feel. Even then, they don't even truly know, do they? Whatever you do, do not give up. Success and happiness for you is just around the corner. It's one enormous push on your part. It will take a lot of work. You absolutely positively can make something happen. Just understand that if you stumble, it is not the end of the world. You're always one big breakthrough from something amazing. Keep at it for yourself and those around you. Your secret word is power. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Well, that's a very different word from the one I got for before. So I'm going to have to write that again in the comments. And I hope this recording is good on the other one. There you go. Bye, Plague Doctor. Take the secret word that you that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Ooh. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be a part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always read them thoroughly. That's nice. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you and if they have are, and if they aren't yet it will all make sense very soon trust me on that and there go the credits all right i should probably remove my last word since this is my second attempt at recording I think my last one was more accurate, but I felt something stronger in this second one. So they were quite right about answers being different. But to be fair, two of them I answered by mistake. And I'm, I'm actually quite grateful that the other recording didn't work. <laughs> so I'll take part in the comments thing. I'll give my secret word. And with that, that's the end of the video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And with that, see you soon.